Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Speed Bill. Today we're doing another mini uh, for you guys. My name is Delia Delfram. For those of you who don't know me, and for those of you who do, welcome back! So, today we're going to be doing another creative art space. We're going to be doing a study. Um, for this study, I kind of imagined both the kind of digital kind of creative sim and the kind of artistical creative sim. Like, the kind of uh, painting kind of like uh, book reader, uh, as well as the the writer online, the social media influencer, someone who needs like a creative space. And I thought the best thing to do this was to kind of do like a small, kind of overpacked room. Um, so I kind of divided the room into kind of four corners, basically. One I kind of gave to kind of the lighting and the windows and stuff like that, so it could be like the corner of a house, which I thought was kind of nice. It would fit in like a little bit of a nuke. The other corner I decided to put into like the little easel and they would decorate it with like paintings and books and other stuff like that. Then opposite that corner I had like the study desk and I had like the uh, the, the you know the, the stuff that like you could do online and then in the corner beside that one with the last corner of the room I wanted to put like a book uh, shelf down which I thought was kind of nice to have like that kind of little uh, kind of the way to like search for books or whatever or to add to your book collection per se um, the only thing with this room is because it was so small I did have to kind of limit myself on what items to put up in the wall and what to do so I kind of went with what what normal and um, what I would have like in like what normal items I would have in my kind of study so I kind of went to try and overpack it I did have a little bit of a trouble finding a desk that looked nice in this room but in the end I did actually find quite a lot of items in this room that I really liked in fact I love the corner of this room you'll see in this video that I actually do overpack with plants and plants and plants and they feel like oh they're so pretty guys so what I would love to do is have like small um, pots small pots just that I could like have out and have uh, sims plant them and not have like these big pots that you need everywhere now I did like the candles here because I do feel like everyone's gonna have like some candles lighting uh, in the little creative space and I love the fact that this desk you can put things up on the second shelf that's so cute I just I, oh, there's something about it that I love so much I love the fact that you can just throw in greenery I think greenery in sims 4 builds just equals life it just ah oh, it just makes so much sense now the only thing with this is I actually did end up changing things that were on the walls quite a few times just because I couldn't really figure out the kind of the exact <coughs> way I wanted it to look. Um, but I am happy with the way I did the bookshelf and stuff like that. Um, I was going to put it in a smaller bookshelf and then a bigger bookshelf. I just didn't want to remove the windows and I didn't want to do anything. And I wanted kind of like the little like, grass plants to come in. You'll see this room kind of really get tied together when I go for the lamp. Um, the lamp kind of just inspired me. I was like, yes, we can change this room. Um, so right now you'll see me putting in different things. I wanted to see if I could put like the, the wall decals on. Um, but then I ended up just putting on this clipboard thing as like a to-do list and kind of calendar for that sim who's a little bit like me who needs like a to-do list and stuff like that to kind of keep things together. Uh, I did love this Kai painting so I didn't want to get rid of it because I actually have an exact replica of that Kai painting. See this is the lamp that I went with anyway. Um, it looks really really pretty and that's inspired me to pick the walls and stuff like that. And then I love the fact that those little, like uh, kind of drapes are kind of like the little diamonds. I love the, the colours that they blend in. So I think when you were putting in like the plants and stuff into here, well when I was putting in the plants, it actually made a lot more sense to kind of go with those kind of colours and stuff like that. Because I do love overpacking my rooms and doing this and doing that with them and I just feel like it, it just it adds to a room space, you know, when I have when you have that. And the whole fact about this room is it isn't about looking out into the road, it isn't about looking out of those windows, it's about those windows being there and someone creating a safe kind of world within uh, that's kind of protected from the outside, which I kind of feel like we did with the with the um with the uh, the greenery here. I do like the way the easel is done here. I like, like, I love this corner of the room. It's so pretty, guys. But thank you so very much for watching. It's been a complete pleasure. As always, please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next Sims 4 build. 